yes, yes. Tell me what's going on, my friend. Well, uh, this is the first year for me to towing a vehicle. I have a Jeep Grand Cherokee. And a friend of mine, we locked. I didn't want to leave the vehicle unlocked when you're towing it. You have to put it in neutral, you know, that kind of thing. And so we locked the car and we shut the hood down all the way. But this was my first uh, endeavor with this Jeep towing and we screwed up. Okay, so let's back up a little bit. What size engine does it have? It's a V8 uh, 5.3 liter or it's a it's a, a 5 liter something. I can't Okay. Five. All right, so right now you said <clears throat> you closed the hood and your question to me is how to open the hood without getting in the vehicle. Did I understand that correctly? Well, or how it, it, or getting into the vehicle. It, it doesn't matter. See the the key fob won't work unlock the car because the battery cable is off and so i thought the easiest maneuver would be to unlock the hood or unlatch the hood some way so once we get the hood open we just take the battery cable touch the post the key fob will work i hit the button unlock the jeep then we want to put it in neutral so we can start towing it so I think the easiest way, well, you tell me if it's easiest, but we need the hood opened to put the battery or the cable on top of the battery to get the key fob to work. <clears throat> okay, so and you said the... Um... But the key, the key that with the key fob, when you put it in the door to try to unlock it manually, won't unlock it. Oh, so... I don't know why. Oh, okay, all right. That's what I was getting at. So the key won't unlock the door manually, right? Right. Okay, I gotcha. So, and you, is there a lock, a door lock cylinder on the passenger side? And if so, did no, you try that? Just on the drivers is all. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so, I think it would be easiest, honestly, to get in the vehicle first, so you can pop the hood. Okay. So to do that, there's a couple. There's a couple ways you could do that. Obviously, you could break a window, but that would be a last resort. You could call a locksmith. That would kind of be down the list. The only other thing I would recommend. You know, I've used a lot. It's called a, it's called a vehicle lockout kit, and I would recommend that you try that. Right. So they make these kits. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them online. You know, different different websites. So one of the easiest ways, obviously, there's like a door, uh, like a like a slim jim or something like that, where you could you know you you put it on in on the outside of the window, and you put it down. It go in, it goes in the door, and then you pull it back up, and then the one part comes, it ends up inside the vehicle and then you can either, you know, manually unlock the door or, or, or just, you know, get the door open that way, you, you know, from the mechanism. Now, the other way with this lockout kit, they, they come with like a, and I think this way is going to be best. There's like a, what looks like a door wedge, you know, like a door stopper, you know, like it's a triangle. Yes, yes, yes. yes and what you yes, do yes, is you yes. just, you take it way on the top and you put it way on the, on the, you know, the, the yep. very top yep. part of the door and you and slow. And you the door apart from the Jeep. So yep. you're getting room to get the, yep. And then you, and you get like either a long hanger or a long piece of something where if the battery's disconnected, we can't use the power locks, but we can, if we hook the, the door handle manually and somehow pull it, we can get in that way. And I think that's going to be your best bet. Um, okay, we're we're traveling, so we're at a campground, and my next suggestion, and I'm throwing it at you, I have AAA. Would it, wouldn't that would that be one way to get the door open? If I call AAA mm -hmm. and say that the door is locked, and I need it unlocked, they might be able to do it. You'd have to ask them. I don't know, you know, what to what extent, you know, they will they will go to, you know getting your vehicle open well, if they have the tools they i would think they would be able to do that for you well they when you mentioned the vehicle lockout kit i mean that would take days and we don't have days so um uh, you know the kit and I, I understand what you're saying by prying the top of the door that gives it some and i, I and then gives you maneuverability to be able to get a hanger down and and try to unlock it now I wonder if there's such a, I'm trying to think of what would work like a wedge to do that without having to wait for a kit. Do you have a couple right. of screwdrivers? Do I have, do I have what? A couple of screwdrivers. 
I think I do. So you can try to very, very, very carefully wedge your, you know, yourself in, you know, the top part of the door uh, away from, you know, where it opens, you know, the very corner and then get like a, either a long hanger or a, a long, you know, rod or something, and maybe even make something like a makeshift handle on it where, you know, it's, it's well, how about a fly swatter? Might, that might work. <laughs> Something where you can, you know, put it so it's long enough where it'll reach all the way to the to the front, and then you can manually, you know, grab that door handle and open up the door, you know, because the power locks aren't working. Right. Okay. So we have the pry pry the door open at the top, try the slide, and I can get a coat hanger. I've got metal coat hangers. I can dis dis you know disassemble and make a little hook on it if the if the fly swatter is too thick and too bulky and not able to maneuver so well i can get a fly or get a hanger mm -hmm. and you know straighten it out one end's got a hook on it and then bend it like we used to do with the old cars before all these key fobs yep is you, know, you know just use that to get inside and pull up on the handle you got it yep okay and i guess the last scenario would be calling AAA to see if they could you see, they got them devices that go inside like that, too. And Okay. Yeah, yeah that might work. And also, just, and again, I'm just throwing this at you just to try to help you, give you some other options. Last I checked, usually, again, I could be wrong, but last I checked, police officers will also have a lockout kit in, in their vehicle. Okay. Well, maybe that's another, uh, that'll be another option. Yep. The coat hanger is probably going to be too thick. <laughs> we'll give that a shot. We, okay, we're going to try to pry the door open at the top and use a coat hanger or whatever to get it unlatched the door. Right. And then if that doesn't work, we can call the police and they might be able to get it unlocked. They might be able to, yeah. So when you pry open the door, you know, you can actually, yep. you can you can open it up a, at least a half an, in, ha, half an inch. So you can pry it open pretty, pretty far, you know. It, it'll be pretty hard to... You know, but if you find something to wedge in there, it'll give you at least a half an inch, maybe even an inch to work with. So that way you can really get, you know, like a long stick in there or handle. something. Yeah, you got yeah. it. Yeah. No, I get you. I, okay. I, I understand exactly what you're saying. So um, anyway, um, I'm, I'm listening to what you're saying. We're going to try to do the screwdriver thing. And then uh, and if the worst scenario is I'll just have to call the police and maybe they can get it opened up. Yes, sir. You got it. All right. Thank you so much for your time, sir. All right. You're welcome. Good luck, okay? Thank you very much. You Bye. bet. Bye-bye.